Thank you, Senator Hagel, for testifying Thank today. You. I appreciate that you've brought your family with you. I appreciate the support of your wife. Um, I'm going to submit several qu questions for the record because they're important to me as the senator from New York, particularly about New York bases, cybersecurity, and children of military families with disabilities. But today I want to focus on the most urgent issues uh, from my perspective. I want to talk more about uh, your thoughts on Israel and Israel's security. I want to talk about Afghanistan, and I want to talk about personnel issues. So on Israel, obviously our relationship with Israel is a tremendously important Israel, and we are fundamentally tied to them because of being such a strong democracy in the Middle East and having our national securities very much uh, being tied in many ways. Um, we talked quite a bit about Iran, and uh, you've clarified your position that containment is not an option. Uh, I'm concerned about a statement you said with regard to Iran. A nuclear Iran is an existential threat to the United States as well as Israel. The Iranian government has been responsible for the deaths of U.S. service members an attempted attack on U.S. soil, the funding, training of terrorist groups. Their latest in a long list of direct threats to Israel came just today. So I want to make sure that in your statement earlier today uh, with regard to whether Iran is legitimate, I can understand if you meant uh, it has, it's a legal entity that has international relations and has uh, diplomatic relations and is a member of the U.N., but I do not see Iran or the Iranian government as a legitimate government, and I'd like your thoughts on that. Uh, thank you, Senator. What I, I meant to say, should have said, it's recognizable. Uh, it's been recognized, uh, is recognized at the United Nations. Uh, most uh, of our allies have embassies there. Uh, that's uh, what I should have said, uh, and thank you. You're welcome. Um, with regard to Israel, Israel's security is, is uh, very important, and I've been one of the strongest advocates for our alliance, fighting for more increases in missile defense cooperation, as well as coordination on a number of the technology programs that are fundamental to Israel's security. Last year, Iron Dome um, more than proved itself as missiles from Gaza uh, continually headed towards Israel. Um, in December, Ranking Member Inhofe and I successfully pushed for full funding of the U.S.-Israel Cooperative Missile Defense Systems. Will you personally support robust funding for Iron Dome, uh, David Sling, and other programs? Uh, will you also, if we have to have a continuing resolution, the funding for Iron Dome will be well below the authorized amount for, for fiscal year uh, 2013? In such a case, will you recommend either reprogramming other funds or sending forth an anomaly budget requesting to fully cover our commitment to this program? Uh, first, um, I uh, fully support and will continue to fully support uh, Iron Dome and Arrow and David Sling. Um, as to a commitment to the second part of your question, uh, uh, I would have to better understand what our restrictions are going to be in our budgets uh, before I could uh, uh, make any decisions like that, uh, and, and I would have to uh, talk with uh, our chairman of the Joint Chiefs and each of the uh, of the chiefs and want to better understand depending on how bad and deep um, this sequestration might might get but make no mistake it, it's clearly uh, a priority uh, program I, I believe we will continue to fund it we should I'll support the continuing funding well I hope you'll also be a strong advocate because our budget is even under sequestration significant and this is a very high priority certainly for me well if I'm confirmed um, we'll uh, work together as I will with this committee on this and other issues thank you um, a number of members were just in Egypt and we met with uh, President Morsi and obviously we are very concerned about the Sinai becoming a route for arms uh, coming straight from Libya going uh, to terrorist groups and we obviously are very concerned about we give a billion and a half or a billion point two to Egypt in aid and we want to figure out if, if there's a way to put some of that, those funds towards um, more anti-terrorism missions as opposed to the typical te technology. Do you have any thoughts on that and what we can do to really try to assist in cracking down on the weapons trade? Well, it's a huge um, um, challenge and a part of um, obviously what allows terrorists and extremists to uh, advance their cause. 
Um, maritime security, uh, piracy issues, I mentioned in my opening statement, that um, that's all part of, uh, of why we need to rebalance resources and uh, why we need the kind of flexible, agile resource base, uh, uh, in particular our Navy, uh, to be able to do this. It also is going to continue to take cooperation with our allies. Uh, we can't do this uh, as good as our intelligence is, best in the world, military best in the world. We're the largest, wealthiest country in the world. But we have to work with allies, and we've got to find that uh, through intelligence before it gets beyond the capacity to uh, f uh, be used to do damage against the interests of this country and our allies. Well, as Israel is one of our most important allies, one of the growing risks we have now is Syria, particularly chemical weapons um, being not... Uh, properly locked down, and there's concern, and obviously uh, with what happened yesterday, um, will, I, I suspect that there's been very close cooperation between our militaries on contingency plans with respect to serious uh, chemical weapons, but um, will this be something that you can focus your concern on because of your past statements uh, about the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006, is this something that you will also commit to and keeping this alliance strong and making sure we have a strong contingency plan with regard to any chemical weapons coming out of Syria? Uh, yes, and, and by the way, I have said on the record many times that uh, Hezbollah and Hamas are terrorist groups, and um, I've said many times on the record that uh, Iran is a state sponsor of terrorism. So yes, I'm committed to do that and will do that. Okay, for my last minute, um, with Af regard to Afghanistan, uh, we've heard your views and you didn't uh, give a specific statement about how many troops when, but will you, in your capacity as Secretary of Defense, advise the President that we should be drawing tr down troops sooner rather than later? Well, I think he's made that uh, pretty clear, that he wants to do that. And um, uh, if I'm confirmed, um, I will need to better understand all the dimensions of this. I, I don't know all those dimensions. Mm -hmm. And um, I, th I think that uh, there's, uh, there, there's little question uh, that, uh, and I support completely, uh, where the President wants to go in Afghanistan and uh, hit his commitment to unwind that war. Uh, as we've said, uh, there uh, should be, there will be. He's noted that he uh, will, in, in fact, enforce a new policy, a new relationship based on a limited uh, objective for our troops there, and I, and I support that. My last question that I'll submit for the record, but you and I talked at length about it. Um, obviously, the personnel of our military is our most important asset. And when we hear reports that there are upwards of 19,000 sexual assaults in the military against women, it's unacceptable. Um, we also have finally repealed Don't Ask, Don't Tell but it's difficult for a military spouse to even go to the commissary um, and be on base or be notified if a spouse is killed in action. I would need a strong commitment from you that you will treat our military families and look after them in the way you would look after your own. I want you to be concerned about every man and woman in the military, that their well-being is being looked after, and see real advocacy and leadership, not status quo, not implementing whatever we put forward, but actually fighting for them every single day. Uh, well, you have my complete commitment uh, on that. I uh, have made that commitment to, I think, all members of the committee that I've spoken to directly and uh, privately. Um, again, I mentioned that point in my opening statement, you will recall. Uh, I think I have a pretty clear record on that in my life. Uh, I will continue to do that, will do that, and I agree it's, it's not good enough just to, stay, just to say zero tolerance. The whole chain of command needs to be accountable for this all the way down to the bottom, so I will. Thank you.